played five A's in, in all the years in Dallas, uh, in the studios and, uh, and live uh, in Dallas in the uh, 70s. Then when I moved to Los Angeles and I was playing five A's, went out with uh, Tom Jones, the band, uh, band leader and MD for Tom Jones said, man, you gotta hit them harder. Love the way you play, you gotta hit them harder. He said, you need bigger sticks. And I said, who's this guy to tell me I need bigger sticks? Oh, he's the guy that signs a check. Maybe I'll get bigger sticks. So uh, uh, I did, uh, and I, I switched to a 5B. So getting used to that and getting your muscle, your muscle structure up to the weight of a 5B, uh, it was fine. I used 5Bs from 1977 till about five years ago. So that was, uh, you know, 30, 30 years of playing 5Bs and started developing some wrist problems where I would, my wrist would hurt and be sore uh, because a lot of the records we do in Nashville, uh, we're slamming, we're, we're playing hard. And uh, I literally started having dreams about not being able to play a drum fill. The, the sticks felt this big around. I was having these dreams of trying to play fills and I couldn't move the sticks because they were so heavy. And I thought, maybe the sticks are too big. Maybe I'm having problems. Well, a 5A wasn't gonna work, so I started working on developing what is a 5A shaft. And from here down, it's a 5B. And you still have the weight and power in the shoulder, uh, the neck and the tip of a 5B. It's a 5B tip. 5B neck into here, basically this is a 5A, very close, but you still have, when you're whipping, you still got that same weight here, uh, but down in here the stick is much lighter. I, I know this sounds crazy, the dreams stopped. No, I've not had one dream about the sticks being too big to play a drum fill playing the stick. The wrist problems stopped. They just, they, my wrists don't hurt anymore. I went and got tested for carpal tunnel to see if I had carpal tunnel. It was a scary time. So through playing for so long in the discovery process I've gone through dealing with pain, that's how we've gotten to this stick. Having this thickness and this weight of a 5B in here but, but the weight and, sha and uh, shaft of a, of a 5A, you still have the power in the end of the stick, but you don't have the weight problems. It's much easier on your wrist, it's easier on your fingers. So uh, you gotta take care of yourself. And one way to do it is find the right tools to do that. And for me, this is the right tool. Also with the stick, uh, that we uh, get a thick lacquer on it so it's, so it's stickier, it's stickier. I know some guys, I think Jeff used to play, uh, Jeff Picaro used to play uh, sticks with no uh, finish on them at all. Uh, and it, it just kind of, they, they were so dry, it just kind of, to me it, it, it was, didn't feel good to hang on to. But when I would sit down and if we were splitting something, he was doing part of the record and I was doing part of the record and I had to play his drum set or something like that. And just having his sticks there and feeling his sticks, uh, for a time, he was going through a time where he's playing with, it was kind of a fad to play with no finish. Uh, I have a real thick finish. Vic Firth does a real thick finish for me on these sticks. It's very sticky. So that really helps also with the fatigue factor. You don't have to hold on so. Anything you can do to ease the fatigue uh, is something you really need to be thinking about as you're playing. Uh, I know a lot of players, almost every player I know that's been playing for over 30 years either has neck problems, back problems, finger problems, wrist problems, or something. And all of that is from continual overuse of those uh, parts of your body. And uh, you need to find those things, you need to work on them early, because if you don't work on them early, uh, they can develop into real problems. So uh, it, that's just another part of the stick is the finish, it, this, the real sticky finish. So that really helps as well.
And then I particularly like the uh, nylon bead the best for light cymbal work, especially live, for, uh, for rolling on cymbals, stuff like that, the end of songs. Some end of songs you'll do a nice little cymbal roll, a wash. They, they sing so beautifully on cymbals. Engineers love them because there's so much definition in the tip of the stick. I love the stick. It just it feels so good. If it's good for me, it's got to be good for a lot of people because I'm I'm just an average guy. So uh, it's got to it's got to work great. At least give it a try because it's uh, I think it'll help you wrist wise. It'll help you grip wise, and it'll help you definition wise. That's what it was designed around.